There's been um, an outpouring of um, acceptance and love by the family with me, um, more so than I ever could have imagined. So being able to feel like we're in this together as a family, even though Ellie and I were not able to, um, we weren't able to get married in the way that we planned. That's the first thing I want to say is just how grateful I am for the family to um, include me and love me like this and to know that we are here with each other. Um, it's also been a little overwhelming with the amount of people that are coming here, but um, people from all over the country and all throughout the years of my life have been reaching out to me, and I know they've been doing the same to the family. And I've seen a lot of faces here. I know a lot of faces here I don't know, but everyone has something special to share and to hear. They just want to listen, and it's been really wonderful to have, uh, to have that ability of everyone in this country hearing and seeing. What is important for you that people know and remember now about Ellie? Ellie was the kindest, sweetest, smartest, most intuitive person I've ever met. He had time and space for anyone who ever needed it. And he would be there for someone in a way that they didn't know. They knew how to accept love and help by someone without them asking. He knew how. He looked at them and he saw them and he was there with them. Um, he had uh, the book, The Prime Ministers, I'm sure everyone knows this book, and he read it, I can't tell you, thousands of times, and he loved Begin, and all he wanted to do was build this land and feed it with love, and all those thousands of hours he was in the field picking the plants on his knees on his knees for so many hours in this land that he lost all the hair on his knees. It was all with laughter and with joy from five in the morning. And he fought so bravely when he was in the army. And I said it before and I'll say it again, he had a medical history and injuries that should not have allowed him to be in the position he was in. And he did not care. He fought and fought and fought to be there because that's where he was needed. The fact that he uh, was murdered so close to a place which he loved so much, the Western Wall and the old city of Jerusalem. Eli grew up Chabad. When he came to Israel, and he, did to, he went to Yeshiva, he was in Australia, he came here, he was in Yeshiva, and he went to the army. He, um, he stopped being so connected to Judaism for a long time. When he's on kibbutz, he was connecting to himself, to the earth, to this land. And then, I met him, and he came to Jerusalem. And at first it was very hard, very hard with all the noise and all the people. And slowly but surely, he began to love the people again. And he began to put on tefillin for the first time in a few years, a few months ago. Um, every morning he would daven for an hour and a half with a kippah, tefillin, and sometimes tzitzit, depending on how hot it was at the kotel that day. <laughs> and um, I know that him being there allowed him to process and connect again in the way that he needed to, in the space and time, and with the silence in the morning at the kotel. And to me, that brings me a lot of peace because he was able to do that um, when he felt far for so long. And I think that um, if there's anything that anyone can take from this besides from understanding it's a tragedy, that um, Ellie is not uh, just some victim. Ellie was one of the most profound people at such a young age. I know we're the, same age, we're the same age, but 25, to understand and articulate and be able to empathize and express himself 
and help each other and love so deeply and so intensely for this country and for the people around him. All he wanted to do was connect the people in this world, down south with Arabs, with Jews, anyone who would want to listen, he wanted to connect. Today, his fruit vendor from the Shook is here because they were friends. The fruit vendor. So I, I want everyone to take from this a piece of that strength and love and connection to everyone. We are all people. And there are people who do bad things, but the most of us do good things. And to take everything that I've said and understanding who Ellie was and bring part of that into everyone's life and share that with each other.